Welcome back to Super Mario 64. We've lost Josh for a little bit. He's feeling a bit sick, so uh, yeah. we're trugging on without him. Yeah. We're on 38 stars, I'm watching Experiment and demolish this game even further. <laughs> Where yeah. am I going? Oh, right, yeah, we do well five immediately. Yeah. I, this is the first time I played this level, like the other day. Like, that wasn't on the DS version. I, oh, God, I completely forgot everything about it. What do you mean? It's in the DS version. Hmm? This level's in the DS version. The only difference is um, there's no oh, Luigi no, I'm saying extension. That I just, I've, yeah, I was just saying, like, uh, but I, the only time I played it was when I played the DS version, like, years and this years ago. This is like ago. Luigi's Mansion before Luigi's Mansion was Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, okay. which is probably why they made it a Luigi's Mansion, like, themed level in the 64 version. Yeah. Because, uh, fuck stairs is what I'm saying. Yeah, fuck stairs. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's I a mean... star there, okay. Yeah, right there. In the DS version, there's a wall to stop you, but 64? Nah. Now there's booze everywhere. That one's clipping through the wall. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, something. Oh, I was it All I know about the booze in this game is that you can punch them and they drop five coins if you do that. Yep. Only the small ones. I mean, you can butt slam them as well. Oh, you, you want can. the invincibility Fair. frames. Fair. But yeah, the fact that there's no music here as well is very fucking foreboding. Yeah, th this uh, music is kind of, uh, weird and creepy. <laughs> God, how many kids used to fucking struggle doing that wall jump back then? I still I struggle. Imagine. Oh, hi, boo. You know? <laughs> Into the wall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, trust me, I was, again, I was struggling with this uh, the other day. Wall jumping in Wait, it goes up there. Is, a, is an acquired skill. Oh yeah, anything, in, especially in 64, where the, you have to kick against the wall. Mm -hmm. Yep. Easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> Not dead. Oh look guys, L is real. No, it Talk says... about how they found the Luigi model, finally. It says, Josh is here, Locke is a loser. Huh? Wonder what that could mean. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I mean, oh I'm angry because it's true, but you know. Right. God, but like, the Luigi model they found, I, like, I can't believe that it actually existed. Well, I mean, yeah. it's not in the actual game ROM itself, it's in the leaked source files. Yeah. But I mean, like, it's just overall, the fact that it... That's something that everyone was like, oh, maybe this is the case, maybe that... And then, like, on the date that was on the thing is when it actually came out. Uh, I forgot this version the... can't do the uh, invisibility effect properly. Yay. Oh yeah. There's supposed to be Isn't a it meant noise. To be like a checkerboard? It's supposed to be a noise filter. Nintendo couldn't even get this right when they did the Wii VC release. Jeez. Oh, to be fair, well, that... 64 <laughs> emulators couldn't get it right till about 2008. Fair. Cause I, I remember the, uh, the N64 was notoriously hard to emulate, especially on like the Wii. I remember Project 64 having trouble with Majora and. Um... Uh, the problem with the N64 mainly derives from the custom microcode hmm. you need to use on the GPU side of things. I mean, the CPU side is straightforward. It's the whole, there's a really flexible vector unit in there, the GPU all use custom opcodes, and Nintendo weren't very keen on sharing them, so everyone had to make their own, and that means there's several dozen variants. Oh, joy. And each variant can act differently. And games also have different CIC chips in them. It's like its own can of worms. <laughs> yeah. It is. Like, for example, Banjo 2 has its own custom lockout chip, and if that chip's altered in any way, it uh, trips the anti piracy. Oh, nice. I wonder how they got a. Actually, did they rebuild Banjo 2 for the Xbox with the source code, or was it just a ROM running in widescreen? No, uh, it seems to be a rebuild. Huh. It wouldn't be running at 60 frames God, otherwise. This piano gave me so much of the, the heebie jeebies when I was a kid. Oh my still gives me the There's something about N64 era monsters like that that are just ugh. See, that piano's never done anything for me. It's just, eh, piano with teeth. Neat. I mean, it never really scared me, but I can get why people were afraid of it. Like, like well, I don't understand the eel, but the well, piano, I guess. Imagine 10 year old me playing this game and getting freaked out by freaking piano with teeth. Oh, good point. You know? <laughs> oh, good point, yeah. Also, those eyeballs are just weird, and, like, they are very unsettling. Uh, what's yeah. the name of them again? I think it's just Mr. Eye or something like that. 
Yeah, it is, I think. Oh, oh gee, boy. thanks for narrowing that down, game. Well, okay. Oh, there's a star. My star Where? senses are tingling. Where oh, is the star? Yeah. All the way over here. You can tell where the red star ones are, at least, because of the... Can you even get the camera angle, then? Right. Thanks, Nintendo. Ugh. They probably couldn't get the camera to go through walls properly without it. Because I, if I remember correctly, the camera is a physical object in this game, isn't it? I uh, think it is, yeah. There's also the there's issue that the, there's nothing rendered beyond the walls that you see. Didn't we talk about that in the first part, about the camera being a physical object? Probably. It was, it's been like a week or two since we recorded two weeks. that. Yeah. Since then, I've put my PC in the shop. <laughs> Oh yeah, every time you kill a boo, it does that. In the, I'm not sure if that's just an All-Stars bug, or if that's just how it's designed. No, it's just how it's designed, but it's only for the first episode it's exclusive to, otherwise they don't give you the message. Oh, okay. And if you time that's it really just cool. right on the end one, you can skip one of them, but it's luck if you can pull that off consistently. Ah, okay. It's just the whole, also, ghosts don't die. <laughs> can you get yeah. out of here? Alive? Hmm? Alive? Can you, you little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Do it, Mario. Do it. Use God, a bitch. that's okay. That's my new headcanon for the um, booze now. It's just how they sound. I mean, it can't be any worse oh, than what they gave in the friggin' Super Mario Brothers 3 or Super Mario World. Oh God. Take the classic uh, vampire voice and just go woo every five seconds. Boo. Welcome to the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Why did it, did, 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 wait, 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 why does the boo have the whomp sound effect? The uh, giant boo. Look, sound was expensive on the N64. Why do Goldine and Caterpie have the same cry? Why does Rhyhorn and Charizard? <laughs> Limitations, my dear. Limitations. Fair point. <laughs> I'd, I'll never get yeah, over the, that. Yeah, but the, the um... smaller boos have this... A uh, high pitched uh, sound, and then the the big boo goes, ooh! Sound. Yeah. Well, maybe these are just small hey. boos, okay? Yeah, they're small. <laughs> Tons of they muscle. Could have just, they could have just lowered the pitch of the, the normal boo sound. <laughs> or, you know, they could have just high pitched the womp one. Yeah, exactly. That but uh, yeah, to do audio code on Whoa. the N64, you've got to sacrifice GPU code space. Yeah. Because uh, N64 don't have an audio processor. Oh, also. This sound, this this um, song right here, sounds really similar to one of the um, one of the songs in Majora's Mask. Uh, I, it was in. Um, yeah, it's almost the same gimmick as well, where it's, it's yeah, spinning I, around. it was um, in Icona Valley. With the, the, Icona, you know, Icona. Oh, I know which one you mean. The music box house. Yeah. Yeah, and there's it also a, so it's also in. Well, that was a world. it's also in the I'd also Clock like, Town, isn't it? I'd also, I uh, don't think it's Clock Town, now. I will point uh, out, though, that the art for the booze there on the thing oh, is just copy-pasted from Super Mario World. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I almost thought they were the yeah. same song, so... What were you we saying, Mateus? Sorry? I said I almost thought that they're they're the same song, but they're not, but they sound very similar. It's probably just a reference, probably, like, either that or that, which is like, we need a yeah. song for the spinning area. Don't worry, Mr. Miyamoto, we'll do just the thing. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Wet, I've got just the tune. Do -do 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 -do. Finally also, we're finally doing Fox Fortress. Yes, we're finally going into the second level of the game. <laughs> we're going to part four, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so we this is World 2. We have three spent... stars. And then we spent three parts in Bob Bomb's Battlefield, but hey, it was worth it, right? Yeah. Yep. Don't worry, we showed off all the secrets. But um, that actually reminds me of. Uh... That the DS version of this level was far greatly expanded. Like, well, a... only the bottom bit. Yeah, the bottom bit. Sorry, but like, it's still it's interesting to see how they changed it. Also, these eyes are just like, what the fuck? Uh. Yeah, they just look like googly eyes. The funny thing is, it's yeah. just the same texture. They just mirrored it. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. Although, Joe, you know would have been nice if they actually kept the freaking whiff consistent between all three, because I noticed the last one was um, slightly squashed than the other two. Yeah. Pretty blue switch. <laughs> oh, are you going to do the the flip trick, or are you going for 100 coins first? Going for 100 coins first. Ah, okay. This one, this level's probably one of my favourites in the entire game. Like, despite it being really small, technically, like, the vertical height just makes up for it. 
Hey, this level was uh, so below that they brought it back in. Oh, wait, that game doesn't exist anymore. Oh. Yeah, right, it doesn't. Oh. Superb <laughs> must, have, uh, must have hallucinated that weekend then. Yeah. Yeah. I can't speak of it, otherwise the Nintendo Ninjas will come for us. The Nintendo Ninjas have already come for me. I sent them back in a box. Oh, you oh, no. little fuckhead. <laughs> now they're going to send even more ninjas. <laughs> yeah, the piranha plants look weird in this game. Like, they look more like PD piranha than they do piranha plants. God, why was P piranha a popular thing for, like, the early 2000s Mario games? Uh, because it was a model that already existed in Sunshine and they could reuse it. Because, I mean, debuted in Sunshine, ended up in Mario Kart Double Dash with King Boo for some reason. Then it was in Partners in Time. Uh, I think it was in Super Princess Peach. If anyone played that, God, I did play. I that. never played Super Princess Peach. You weren't missing much. Yeah, I've seen gameplay of it, and it just it's like, why? Well, if you want to get the actual last level of the game, you basically got a hundred percent it. And there you go, optimization, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how you kill two birds with one stone. Speaking of killing a bird, off you run, son. One day, I will get that dive and perfectly go straight on the star. But or, I mean, today. Or as I say, that's how you get two stars with one... 100 coins. I mean, we already <laughs> did that before on um, Cool Cool Mountain. That was two weeks ago, I don't remember. <laughs> Get up there, so let me think. We're on to. Yeah, it's just the first star of the world. Can't do much else about it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, in hindsight, I really should have practiced going this night. What do I do? Now nah, we do this. Up we go. <laughs> hey, you rebuild everything. You go die squish now. Wait, how did you clip through him. Invincibility frames. I can't ever figure out how to do that. I'm not a real gamer. So, oh, speaking you of real gamers, I'm back. Where did you go? Wow. I went to go get my nachos from the front door. You ordered nachos? <laughs> during no, the, during the middle of a recording me. session. Hello, we're professional. Look, it wasn't we my swear. fault. My mum rang and said, oh, I have nachos. And I'm like, cool. You said we were professional. <laughs> yeah, we're not professional. We're subpar at best. Subpar, that's being generous. Let's be real, I'm the only professional person here. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't come for me. Okay, uh, get the tor torches and pitchforks ready. Oh boy. Okay, so this one here, I didn't know that you could punch the wall at the bottom there to get, like, a uh, extra thing. I thought I had to blow it up with the bullet bill, so I kept trying to direct him in there. Mm, oh, the hidden one life that's up there. I'm pretty sure most people know that because of uh, the SGBLP, if not um, Super Mario Bros. Man, I showed it off at some point. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I have to admit though, it's a nice little secret. Just be like, punch the wall. I knew about it on my it's own, so but then I've ROM hacked, so... Yeah. Good old fucking Toad's Tool 64, if anyone remembers that thing. Oh god. Oh, what the fuck? I forgot Oot, about Oot, this. Welcome to Kolo Lint Island. Oh man, he's uh, gonna tell us what to do in Ocarina of Time. Easy enough. <laughs> Get the camera angle just right, you can just make out Mario's shadow, which is perfect to do a butt slam for precision. Do you want to hear that again? Nope. You mean yes? Okay! I hate that owl. Everyone hates that owl. It's like, it's like in Pokemon. Hey, do you know what a Pokemon is? Yes. Well, a Pokemon is a- fuck you! It's just, they're the wildlife. I know. <laughs> I've lived in this world since you conceptualized me about a year or so ago. I still remember when you drew that first line. Mm, there's a potential for a horror story right there. Yeah, there's some existentialism. Also, that took me two tries to get on my first playthrough. What the, wait, what is that? Hidden star. Secret star. Now, I mean, you can technically clip into it, but uh, that's a precision thing. Me, though, I'm just going to take the easy way. Hmm. There we go, that'll do it. Yeah, that's one way of doing it's it. It's so <laughs> deliberately obtuse, I don't know how you're supposed to find that. I don't know it just says, blast away the wall. So it's just, mm. start shooting walls. The whole place is made of walls! 
It's like... <laughs> yeah, but there's only so many walls you can blast at. Good point. So, process of elimination. And this is like, what? If you don't fling yourself off. Two years before we called up Rareware I'm... to demand how to do the friggin' water switch stuff. Good point. Never mess with a man and there's a massive array of A to Z telephone number catalogues.